Hi there, this is Susan, and I am coming to you with a July monthly challenge I just joined. Um, I discovered it last night. It's on the Victoria Marie scrapbook page, I mean, Facebook page. Um, anyway, Sarah Swan and Caddy Miranda put together this challenge. They have a mood board that you can find on the Victoria Marie Facebook page with like really pretty blues and pinks all like with flamingos and all different kind of um, blues and pinks for summer it just spoke to me and said uh, swimming and summertime and so that's the, what I'm going with and they also gave us a recipe so the recipe that it was was cardstock now they didn't tell us how much cardstock that we could have but um, I decided to pick just a few varieties. Now I may add white to this, another white, because I seem I used to never want to scrapbook with white. And now it seems that that's all I want to scrapbook with. And then with my pattern papers. So I picked um, a white. We have visitors this weekend, so you'll hear them in the background. I'm sorry. I picked like this aqua from Stampin' Up. It's called Pool Party. I used pink pirouette from Stampin' Up. Oh, I have one more hidden. I have um, crumb cake and I think this is I didn't look primrose petal and then this one is tangerine tango anyway I figured they were all kind of summery I don't have all summer pictures but kind of but anyway I figured those would all work for for this challenge like I said they didn't give us how much cardstock we could do or use but um the recipe did call for five sheets of pattern paper, so I decided to go with this one with, that's poolside from Cray Paper, and it's called Swim Lessons, and this just has, let me turn that around, different texts, you know, the, all summary texts. I like, I wanted a text. Plus, if I don't want the text, I love this little um, multicolored triangles that would be great for a background, and I like the little branding strip that has the, um, oh, what is that, scallop edge had to make sure I was actually filming. The next one I picked is also from Poolside, is Sun and Fun. And I like this, um, the, the polka dots. I'm a big, I have lots of dogs. Well, actually I have three, and then my sister brought one. So we have four dogs that are here, so I have dog hair everywhere. Um, anyway, I like this multicolored polka dot. I, I like how it's kind of random and overlapping, and I like the ledger paper in the background. Again, from Poolside, I already said that, it's called Sun and Fun. I also love this side, and I have a picture that I might use for this if I don't use this one, because see, I really, really love this side, but I'll, I'll decide as I go along. The next one, again, from Cray Paper Poolside, and it's called Splash. I have a lot of pool photos that I'm gonna use, so being that we had a pool, I had lots of pool pictures. We're going to go with that. And then this side is like just like a flowery, kind of a neutral, like a, like that craft that I used. Uh, the next one I'm using is from Crepe Paper Poolside. And it is snow cones. They might be snow cones. I'm going to go with ice cream cones as well. I might actually be way off base here. But I also like this one, that, which looked like water. And then the last one is from Summer Vibes, Simple Stories from last year. Um, I love this multicolored uh, large stripe. I also like the back that says hello with all the different multicolors. I just think it's really cool. And if I decide to sub out one, which actually might be that snow cone, I don't know. I thought they were ice cream cones. Darn it. But I have this one here, which is from Cart Cartabella. Uh, soak up the sun. I, I like this multi-color print here, but I also like this pink. I'm just trying to pull in not just the blues, but pinks as well. Because I have a granddaughter, and I have a daughter, and a soon-to-be daughter-in-law. I have all these different, you know. But anyway, I like this for my papers. I do have six here. It did call for five, but I might sub out one of those. And I actually have one from Cartabella that's ice cream cones and not snow cones, so I might sub out that ice cream cone one. Now, we're also allowed to have four embellishments. So what I picked was this cut-apart sheet from Cray Paper Poolside called Flip Flops. 
I could use these tags as embellishments. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to cheat and cut these out and make little embellishments out of these squares, but I'm going loosely with the recipe. But for the most part, this is what I'm cutting and using. So, and then I'm also going to use the poolside chipboard. I really love this. Is, like I said, this is for all from last year, but you can see I have never opened it. I am so bad about hoarding. I, I buy, but I never use. It's awful. Ask my husband. He supports my habit. <laughs> anyway, I like that it has some of the gold in there. Again, I thought that was a snow cone. I mean, an ice cream cone, but it's a snow cone. Ah. But this is the other one I'm going to use from Poolside, and that is an ice cream cone, because I have a picture I want to use with that. So I have one, two, three, and then my fourth one is this from Pink Fresh Studio, and that is their rubber um, embellishments, because everything I have is basically um, swimming related, but I do have a couple pictures that I have that are not swimming related, so I thought maybe this would come in handy. So we also were su supposed to pick two large alphas, like thickers, and I went with this one, which is, I think, a Dorn. Yes, a Dorn. And then I went with this Dear Lizzie one, which is Woodland, and I like the gold in there, too. And so I went with these alphas. I'd never used them. Uh, we're also allowed to have one small alpha, kind of like as a filler. And so I went with this October Afternoon Daily Flash. I like the smaller font here, but I also like how they have the tile. Oh, sorry. Wow, they are really loud out there. <laughs> the tiles here. So that would be good. We're also allowed to have three wood veneer. So my wood veneer is from the Poolside Collection. Big surprise, right? And I have the Sunny Day, Summer, and then this little sun. And then we're allowed one thing on our uh, option of our own, and that is I picked these October afternoon pop drops by from summertime. So I figured that would give me a little something. Now, here are some of the pictures I decided to go with. Sarah Swan is one of my favorite YouTubers I watch often. And I love when she matches her uh, photos to her papers. But I'm not going to actually match them with my papers. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to use this one, which is using the ice cream cone. I love that, my grandson. Uh, this is from Easter, and it has my four grandchildren and two of my kids. Now I have seven, so I have a few missing, as you can see. But I really like that picture. Um, I have... I am a big one for multi-photo pictures on pages. So I have all these swimming of my oldest grandson, Aiden. So I'm going to use all those. And then I have my granddaughter, Riley. So I have these two... These three, I'm sorry, that I'm also going to use. And then my other grandson, Cameron. So, anyway, I am going to match them all up. And then here, this is not swimming, so that's why I was saying. I have some random pictures that are not swimming. This is of Cameron playing with, or in a towel with his dad. So, anyway, those are the pictures that I hope to get scrapped this next month. This is the kit that I hope to use for the Victoria Marie Facebook Challenge. I hope you all will follow along. I will have process videos. I'm going to start today. Hopefully, I'll have a process video up coming uh, probably Tuesday. And then, hopefully, I'll have one of these process videos up by Friday. Hope you all have a great day. Please like and subscribe. If I get to my 300 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away another $25 gift card. So, I am almost there. I'm at 235 subscribers. So, share my videos. Get me out there. Um, like I said, when we hit 300, I'm going to give a uh, 300 giveaway. I'm, I'm doing, I've got it all tongue-tied. I'm giving, doing a giveaway when I hit 300 subscribers. So like I said, please comment, like, share my video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.